Velocity is the change in displacement over the change in time, or the rate of displacement. Basically, velocity is how fast an object travels. Acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. It is the rate of change of velocity, or the change in how fast the object is going. Here we will demonstrate a toy car accelerating down a ramp. Watch as the car's velocity increases as it travels. The car takes 3 seconds to travel the 1 meter course, so its final velocity is calculated as 0.33 meters per second. The average acceleration is the difference in final and initial velocity divided by change in time. Final velocity was calculated as 0.33 meters per second. Initial velocity is 0 meters per second because the car started at rest. Total change in time is 3 seconds. Therefore, average acceleration of the toy car is 0.11 meters per second squared. Though a vehicle accelerates rapidly, its velocity starts out at zero and noticeably gains speed. A car cannot jump from zero to 45 kilometers an hour. It accelerates. A car slowing down or decreasing in velocity is also an example of acceleration. Now we will explore the acceleration of gravity, which is known to be 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth. When we drop a 1.4 kilogram ball, we observe the acceleration of gravity. Now here's proof that the acceleration of gravity is in fact 9.8 meters per second squared. We know that the displacement of the ball dropped is 2 meters. The time of the drop was timed at 0.64 seconds. Initial velocity is 0 because it started at rest. Using these figures in the formula d equals vi times t plus 1 half of at squared, we prove that acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared.